Ah, well, today I have a bit of a question when it comes to the creationism model. And the question is about Noah's Ark and the animals after it. The current story is that the animals were released after the flood, Noah's Ark comes to rest, the animals are released, and they go forth and multiply. Now, there's a lot of questions about whether or not plants could survive, how they could survive the trip and everything, but let's for a second here assume the plants did survive. What is everybody going to eat afterwards? My first creation is say, well, for the first of all, all the plants. But what plants? The plants didn't survive. There's nothing but be nothing but dirt, even if the seeds themselves survived, we grant you that. It's still going to take days, weeks, months, years for any fruit to grow. Grass would probably take a couple of weeks to a couple of days. I don't know the exact rate and what type of grass, but it would still take a while to grow. Trees, plants, and whatnot would take even longer. So what is everything eating grass? So it's like all the deer, all the Lions, everything's eating just the grass. Then what? I mean, how is how is this stuff going to spread? It's still going to take time for the plants to spread, unless you know you still give the idea that they they germinated everywhere. So how does it? So what are they eating? You know, how exactly does this work out? You know, what about the animals? They're left to be each other plants. And for how long? And here's something else that I have to think about. You know, all the animals that survive are going to be situated in the Middle East for a short period of time. How do they spread out? What about all the plants that require animals? You know, that the seeds are spread by the birds or bees pollinate flowers and stuff. So exactly what's going on here? How did the how does all these plants survive without the animals that are required to help them? Did everything spread out from a central point from around the Mount Aramat Aramat? Or what happens? They all spread out. How long would it take you know these species to reach say South America from Africa is there enough time like we know when civilizations are there and what not you know so the time it, the Aztecs are there means would the slow progression of animals all that far actually make it there would the plants make it there you know we know where animals are, you know, around the world, and at what time. And they're showing up almost immediately after a flood. So I, never, I like to hear these questions answered, if you can even attempt to. I mean, explain to me how they do this. And no, I'm not going to accept any answer that requires God, because if, you know, God's going to be required to do anything, then you might as well stop trying to make it sound plausible, because you've just thrown out that attempt. So let me know what you think. Do you have any possible way of this working? Comment below if you agree or disagree, and give me your thoughts or something I may have missed, or some other points you want to add.